60s child, 60s. The smell of wood smoke fills the air with a scent that sets Roderick humming to himself as he gets his motorboat ready. There's something in the air, and the hamster has a queer feeling of excitement he can't explain. Roddy, why do I feel like Rodded? Hmm? Well, it's uh, something to do with the weather, my friend. Um, it happens every year about this time. The hamster listens very attentively as Roderick tries to explain the change in the seasons to him. But he still wants to know why he feels as he feels. Roderick can't answer him. In fact, he'd often wondered the same thing himself. Um, why don't we visit Wise Old Frog? If anyone can give us an answer, he can. Roderick pretends not to notice what a mess Hammy's made. And then, almost before another leaf touches the water, they're on their way. Downstream, the wise old frog is waiting for them, for he knows that the animals always come to ask about the weather at this time of the year. Hammy greets him affectionately. Hello. Oh, oh I hope I didn't hurt you, Mr. Frog. <laughs> yeah, the little fellow gets a bit excited, you know. The frog welcomes his two guests and asks what he can do for them. Hammy and Roderick both begin at once with a string of questions, and it's all wise old Frog can do to keep up with the answers. Uh, but, Mr. Frog, why is it I feel like Rudded? Hmm? Uh, that's easily explained. You see, at this time of the year, the weather begins to turn chilly, and all animals have to run to keep warm. So you see, you're not the only one, Mr. Hamster. Hammy thinks that this is a wonderful explanation and asks Roderick if they might go for a walk through the woods and perhaps see some of the other animals running. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Kind regards to all. Yeah. 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 Apparently, this change in the weather makes everyone feel like running except the motor on the little boat. It's not going at all well. Roderick decides to give it a well-earned rest. The rat shakes himself from his daydream and leaps ashore to follow his friend. But Hammy skips through the woods as only a hamster can skip. Roderick stops now and then to talk to various creatures of the forest. Oh, good morning, toadstools. You look to be in fine fettle. We're expecting to be covered up by our blanket of leaves any day now. See you in the spring, Mr. Rat. Oh, hello, Hornets. How are you today? 
Hmm, I can see you. Hmm, sorry, we can't stop to chat, but we must get our house stocked up for the winter. The dandelions sing out an invitation for the hamster to fly away with them. Oh dear, I hope I don't get blown away like that. it seems as if the wise old frog is right again. Everyone in the forest is running. Hammy doesn't know why the leaves are falling from the trees, but thinks it best not to ask and just try not to step on too many, lest he hurt them. Mr. Spider is busy wrapping up his web for the season, but pauses long enough to say hello and to wish Hammy well for the winter. Goodness me, there are a lot of leaves. Oh, dear, there's one that's lost. Poor thing. There are so many things to see and so much to do. The hamster's so excited and the leaves all seem to be falling on him. Oh! What's all the fuss about, hmm? Yeah. Jumping grasshoppers, a pile of moving leaves. What next? Help. Oh. I say, Hammy, really. <laughs> what a commotion. And Hammy, sorry to have caused such a disturbance, crawls back under the leaves. That afternoon, guinea pig appears on the scene. The two friends watch him as though they are both glued to the side of the road as guinea pig hurtles down on them and screeches to a halt. Well, fellows, you've wandered a little far from home, haven't you, hmm? Well, yes, we have. Well, yes, we have. And the animals greet each other and exchange views on the state of the weather and its suitability for such activities as walking through the woods. Then the guinea pig suggests that perhaps he could give them a ride back home in his car. Hammy accepts immediately, but Roddy hesitates. Oh, what a fuss again. Now what's the matter? I don't know. Some people. Yeah. Mm. Uh, look, old man, can I have a private word with you? Do you mind? Oh, dear. And Hammy feels rather left out of the conversation until Roddy turns to him and says, All right, Mr. Hamster, let's go. Hammy has a terrible job trying to get into the car. He's so excited. Yeah, yeah. What a fuss. Yeah, yeah. All for a motor car ride. Oh, please, can we start, Mr. Guinea Pig? Please, can we start? 
I'm afraid I'm not fond of this. Oh, dear me, I wish they'd go. And away they go. Hey ho for the open road. That's right, the open road. Uh, don't forget, you promised, you know, not too fast. The hamster's having the time of his life. Faster, Giddy, faster. Giddy, please, not so fast. Guinea pig needs no urging. He's filled with the excitement of the chase, and he drives like a guinea pig possessed. Now, that's what I call a good run. Well, it affects us all in different ways, my friend. Oh, isn't it a wonderful time of the year?